So now that we've created our custom post types, we need to create some demo content and then use that demo content in our views so we can show how that information is going to be shown on the front end of the website. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our restaurants. We're going to go into our restaurant categories or whatever your post type is, and we're going to create some categories for it. So we can do something like Chinese food and click on add. We can do something like pizza. We can do fine dining. You know, we don't need to create too many of these, but you can see that we're, you know, we've created in some categories for our restaurants. And now we're going to go into our restaurant post type and we're going to create a new one, right? So we're going to create some restaurants so we can use those to display on the front end, just so we can see how it looks and manage it. We can delete our demo content later, but this is, but this is a good way to kind of see what it's going to look like before we bring our website live. So let's create first Dan's Pizza Shack. And I'll just grab some demo text to drop in there for now so I can see how that'll look. We'll pop that in. And then we'll go down to restaurant phone number and we'll just pop in a phone number. And then we'll pop in an address. And then we'll pop in a restaurant email address. And then Dan's Pizza does deliver. So we're going to do the checkbox on delivery. And then for our excerpt, we'll just grab a couple lines here and we'll pop that in for our excerpt. And then we will select the pizza category. And then I will just drag and drop an image here which I'm going to steal from the internet, which I don't recommend that you do. You should definitely use your own photos, um, but we're just going to use this one for now. And then we're going to add in a featured image. So I'm just going to click here. I'm going to drag and drop an image from earlier. And we'll put in our meta information and then we'll click on set featured image. And then we're going to click publish. So now I have my Dan's Pizza Shack restaurant created, so I'm going to create a second one. And we're going to do Dan's Fine Dining. Pop in some text there. And Dan's Fine Dining does not deliver because we are too fancy for that. We're going to click on Fine Dining under Categories. We're going to grab another image. Obviously, I recommend you use your own images. Don't steal them off Google Images. But for right now, this is fine. So I'll click on Set Featured Image. And I'll throw my image in there. And now we have our second restaurant. And we're going to click Actually, let me just grab an excerpt again really quick. And we're going to click on publish. So now we have two restaurants in our system. And so now we need to decide how we need to create a view so we can display it on the front end. So I'm going to go down to tool set and I'm going to click on views. And I'm going to click add new. And we're just going to type in restaurant listings. And I'm going to click on full custom display mode and click on create view. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to select what content we want to display and we want to display restaurants, right? And then we're going to leave these options for now. We're going to leave these as they are. And then we're going to scroll down here to our loop output editor, right? So all of these options are for doing different things like filters and such. We're going to add those in later, but for now, we just want to display the items on the front end, right? So go to Loop Output Editor and click on Loop Wizard, and then click on Unformatted. There's a couple different options here, so if you just needed your content displayed in a table or a list or something like that, that's easy, just grab one of these options. But if you're gonna be displaying content like a business directory, you probably need to style it a bit more, and so you click on Unformatted, so that's up to you. And then click on Next, and then we want to check this box that says use a content template to group the fields in this loop. And I'll show you what that does in a second. And then we want to add the different fields that we want to show. So obviously, we want, you know, if, if you need, we need the post title or I'm going to add in the post title. 
Then I'm going to add in the post body. So that's our title and our body content. And then I'm going to add in our I'm going to add in our featured image, so post featured image. And then I'm going to add in our custom fields, which are down here at the bottom. Scroll all the way down there, and you'll see whatever your post type is and custom fields. And then we can add these on there. So we'll do restaurant phone number. We will do the address. We will do the email field. And we will do delivery. And then once you've added in all your fields, again, make sure this box is checked. We're going to click on finish. And you're going to see that it created a content template for me, which is this box below. So this is showing, this is the view total. So this WPV loop, that's where it's going to loop and show that information for each restaurant. So each, you know, I think of, you know, 10 restaurants and each one is going to be showing the same fields. So starting from title down to delivery, right? And so that's called a loop. Right, so this is the outside of the loop essentially. So, if we wanted to create things around our view, and I'll show you that later on, and then this template or this loop item, this is how each specific loop is going to work. So, these are all the fields that our restaurant has or that we want to display, and then how we change or format our style this section that's how each item in the loop is going to look. So let's just update for this for now. We're gonna, we're gonna mess around with the styling in a second, but let's just keep this how it is for now. Click on Save All Sections, and then we're going to create a new page to insert our view into. Now, how you insert views into your page is gonna be a little bit dependent on which page builder you're using, but for now, we can just do this using the standard WordPress pages, and then we can update it later on when we start creating the front end pages with our page builder, right? So for now, let's just type in a page. We're gonna do restaurant directory. And you'll see this button up here, fields and views. So we'll click on that and we'll scroll down and we'll look for post views. And we see the restaurant listings or whatever we called our view. So click on that button. You, there's a couple options here. You can take a look through those, but we're just gonna insert the short code. We're gonna publish our page. And then we're going to take a look at it on the front end. And you can see I have Dan's Fine Dining. I have my photo here, my other information. And then we go into Dan's Pizza Shack. So obviously this looks terrible, um, but we're going to clean this up a little bit. And then we're going to, I'm going to show you later on also when we get in the front end page builders, how to really style these pages and add things like columns and stuff like that. But in this set of videos, we're just going to do very standard or very um, you know minimal styling just to kind of clean it up a little bit and we'll go more into that during the front end theme sections and I'll create some optional tutorials as well to really get into it but for right now we just want to clean this up a little bit so we're gonna go over to toolsit we're gonna click on views again we're gonna edit our restaurant listings And so we go down to our templates for this view, the loop item in restaurant listings or whatever your view is called. So let's just style this a little bit. So we'll do a headline, which is H1. And then we're gonna have our body content. So we'll just create a paragraph for that. And then we're gonna copy this. This is for our image. Let's say we want that above. We want that above our title. And again, this is going to look very basic, but I'll cover this again in detail. So we, I'll help you style them and make them look good. But for right now, I just want to kind of show you how this works. And then we have our different information. So we'll say, uh, we'll start a new paragraph. We'll make it bold. We'll say phone, and then we'll show our type. And then we will end our bold and end our paragraph. And we'll do the same thing for each one and this right so now we're gonna these items here will be bold and the information will not be okay and we'll just do a little space here okay so this is just some basic styling it's still gonna look pretty bad but you'll get an idea of how if we style this around these tags so these short codes here represent each different field so if we style around those it will apply so now if i refresh my page here you can see that's a tiny bit better we have our image we have our heading we have our body content and we have our phone address email and delivery so it looks like i made a little mistake here so i'm just going to go back into my view 
look at my phone number field and you can see I have an extra bracket there. I'll we'll save that, refresh again. So there we go. So now we have a phone, an address, an email, a delivery option. We have uh, our heading and we have our image. And then we have again, Dan's Pizza Shack. So let's say I wanted some kind of separation. If at the bottom of my loop, I did something like horizontal rule, which just shows up like a dividing line. I'll update that again. And you can see now, so now we have some kind of separation between the two items. So that's good enough to start with. So now we have Dan's Fine Dining, we have Dan's Pizza Shack. But now what we need is we need a way to open these up and look at the full restaurant where we're also going to display our uh, view for reviews, okay? So we need to uh, link this to its content item. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight our title field and we're gonna click on fields and views and we're gonna replace that with post title with a link. And we'll just insert that short code and hit update. Refresh again. And now this is going to lead to the single view or the single page view of our restaurant and we're going to be able to mess around with that as well. So now what we need to do is we need to format how this single page view is going to look and in order to do that we're going to use a system called content templates. So check out the next video which is going to cover content templates.